This is Callum Smiles for Rebel News and I am here in central Paris for the May Day protest. Now here, more specifically in République, is where the protest is going to start. Now every year on the 1st of May, the unions and those who are disgruntled with the government come out to make their voices heard. Well, ever since the tensions have rose here in France with Emmanuel Macron's undemocratic state pension reform, more and more people are becoming disgruntled and this turnout is expected to be one of, if not the biggest. So I've come here to ask the people of France what they think. It was an extremely left-wing event with lots of socialist and communist organisations. What do I think of Emmanuel Macron? That he is a, an imposter. Imposter. He's an imposter. Do you name Macron? He, 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 he's been. He, he's done to the whole people of France what is what he has uh, uh, endured when he was 14 and maybe be, be, be before. 14. So, do you think? Do you think France no longer wants Macron here? No longer. So walking along the boulevard, already passing thousands of people, I can't even see the end of the protest. That's how big the turnout is today. It seems like there is a very big left-wing presence. However, there actually seems to be thousands and thousands of people from all walks of life, all across France, who are just sick and tired of Emmanuel Macron doing things undemocratically. So as soon as the march began, the heavens opened up and lightning and thunder went around Paris in almost a biblical manner, almost in a show of support for the French people who are opposing these undemocratic state pension reforms. The police have now put their helmets on, some bottles have been thrown, and as you can hear, the noise is starting to ramp up. So we're going to follow them and see exactly what's going on. So we don't want, I, I think about my uh, grandsons, grandchildren and my children as well, and we don't want them to proceed on working uh, like this until 64. Oh, no. So that's the point. And we have the same problem with the wages, with the, um, the society in itself, um, because we think that democracy is complete, completely over here in France, so that's why we're fighting for. Super! So the police have just started throwing in tear gas because the protesters are throwing gas bottles and they're, gra they're grabbing individuals who are causing trouble and dragging them into the police crowd so they can detain them.
But ultimately, it seems to not deter the protesters as they are staunch in their opposition to Emmanuel Macron. Today I come because we live in a neoliberalist society and I think it's very unfair. Um, so we have to, uh, to get together, to be stronger and um, to lead for democracy, a real democracy. Why have you come here to protest today? Uh, I protest today uh, for, um, for a protest against Macron, uh, first of all, and uh, I protest against uh, the deny of democracy he's doing. So uh, if I want to explain more, that's uh, the use of the article uh, 59 is, uh, yes, that's us, that's the one member, uh, is very, um, very anti-democratic and I want to protest against that. Do you think the opinion of France is that they do not like Macron anymore? Yes, uh, I think uh, many uh, people want to hide this fact, but uh, Macron is, is very unpopular uh, uh, and seeks uh, even more, uh, one, even more, even more uh, unpopular than uh, Hollande, the, uh, the, ancient, the ancient president. And uh, that thing is really uh, common in some, uh, some uh, people. Uh, that, uh, that's, that's what is incredible, first, because uh, Macron is the most hated president now, I think. So here at the end of Boulevard Voltaire, where the protest comes to an end, the police have deployed more water cannons and more tear gas to try and push back this huge French force of unity. The French have come out to protest the undemocratic rise in the state pension age, as well as things like the cost of living crisis that's going through the Europe, going through Europe right now. So as you can see behind me, the cloud of tear gas approaches. The police and the protesters have been playing this game of cat and mouse here on the roundabout at the end of Boulevard Voltaire. The police are using tear gas, they're using batons, they're using water cannons. They're doing everything in their power to try and disperse the protesters. However, the protesters do not seem to be going anywhere. They will not go away without having their voices heard. So why is it important for you to come and protest here today? Oh, I, I don't know. It's uh, it's not our culture. It's uh, it's just Macron who's doing, you know, bullshit. But uh, I guess it's uh, it's just we defend our right and we defend our social, uh, you know, social fight. Social. Uh, I don't know. I don't have the word. But uh, I don't think there is any cultural things about it. It's just you know we fight capitalism and here in France, they fight back and uh, so we need to struggle. And do you think these protests will work? Do you think your protests will make Emmanuel Macron change his policy? Uh, actually, I, I really don't know. I, I, I guess, I guess not. But I'm sure you know the the country have have changed. Uh, it's not the same as it was uh, three months ago. So I think it's a it's a it's a good thing. You know, people have have struggled. They, they and it will. Uh, no, let some deep, uh, deep mark on the con uh, in the country. And um, so, why why have you come here to protest today? Because uh, Macron has uh, removed the, the age of retirement, and it's unfair because the poor will dead, and uh, it's so unfair. So we are here to to protest and to show that we are against this government, which is tyrannic and violent. And do you think your protests will, will make him change? Uh, I mean, we hope so, but um, we see that uh, we are protesting uh, since, you know, four months and nothing has changed, like uh, the things have gotten worse. But, you know, we will try and we will see if, uh, if, it, uh, if it works. And what do you make of the police's use of violence today? Uh, I mean, as a, as a um, uh, living in a neighborhood, I'm kind of used to it. I know that they're violent. I know that they don't respect the laws. But, uh, you know, we, we are fighting against them and uh, we are trying to uh, resist. And if you could say one thing to the police today, if they were to watch this video, uh, to try and get them on side, what would it be? Uh, either join us or go fuck yourselves. Thank you very much. You're welcome.
So the building that is behind me, that is now engulfed in flames, has people on the rooftops. The fire brigade has just got in after some intense violence between the protesters and the police. So the police have surrounded the entire roundabout and they are slowly moving in. One of the locals who's been to many of these protests tells us this is basically the last stand, the last battle, as multiple waves of police enclose in on the protesters. As you can see, they're moving in now to basically bring this day to an end. So as the protest draws to an end, as the police clear off the last few remaining stragglers, today has felt very much like if Les Mis was set in 2023. The people of France are rising up against the lack of democracy as Emmanuel Macron pushes through policy without the consent of the public. And today may be about to end, but from what I've seen and spoken to all the French people who've attended today, today is just one day. The battle may end today, but the war will go on until they get what they want. And that is democracy. This has been Callum Smiles, Rebel News, here in Paris, France. If you appreciate this kind of reporting, both in the UK and overseas, then please head to franceontheedge.com where you can help cover our modest expenses so we can continue to bring you the news that matters to you in an honest, truthful manner. Because ultimately, we cannot do this without your support. So again, that's franceontheedge.com. Thank you.